Okay, so we're going to put a 90 degree bend in our piece of PVC conduit. We've talked about the desired length, we've talked about the different sizes and lengths that it comes in, different finishes. Simple recap of the technique to put a 90 degree bend in it. Depending where we want the bend in the length, could be as long as three metres when we're doing it, that's the part of which the internal spring will be inserted to. So I'm going to have it just off the middle. So I'm going to put it into there, measure out my cable, fold over the end, and just drop my bending spring in, and then refold it over to stop it coming back out. So I'm going to be looking to put my 90 degree bend in this part of the PVC conduit. We said about warming it up beforehand to try and prevent the rippling of the spring through to the outside PVC. We know the cost of this conduit is very low in price so that we are still getting a little bit of rippling, but let's see how we can do that. So we warm it up, full length, a little bit warmer, and we said about, in this case, jumping on our large motorbike in order to create our bending radius. So we bend it, come in close, back out, come in and hold it, back out, and then finally come in and just give it a little bend. We want to leave it in a overbent position. So we're going to rest it overbent with our spring out. So that's the position which we're going to leave it in. And then we're going to work on something else in our plastic condo exercise and then return to it. On returning to it, if we still find it slightly overbent after several minutes, we can just pull it back out to 90, okay, until we got it into our desired position. We said before, if it goes beyond 90, the spring must be reinserted. So if we're in this position here, where we've gone beyond 90, okay, and we've got to put a little bit more back in, the spring must be reinserted around the corner because otherwise the conduit itself will just collapse without the spring in it. We can put it out, we can put it in, and we're trying to create a bending radius that looks like so. So we've matched it to the bending radius set for the same size steel conduit from the conduit bending machine itself. By doing so, we know then we've conformed to two and a half times the diameter, two and a half times the diameter of the conduit, creating the bending radius as we discussed earlier. Okay, thank you.